what's your role in, in Lee Selby's career from now? Uh, a little bit less work, which is nice. Um, you know, there, there was a big opportunity for Lee to work in Amer to, and to work a fight in America, and you know, it was one that he had to accept. For us, it's important that we're still involved, but more importantly, that we can still deliver him to our broadcaster, which is Sky Sports, and that's the case. Um, and his fight against uh, Montiel will be live and exclusive on Sky Sports, and, and that's the most important thing for us. Um, we're on the team, we're consulted, we don't have as much power and say as we used to, but that's okay, because sometimes you have to give that up a little bit to give the fighter the best deal you can. So um, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing Lee box in America, and, and we have plans to bring him back and box Warrington next summer at Ellen Road, and I think that's a natural fight for both guys. And um, you know, I look forward to heading out to America, having not do, doing as much work and just enjoying it and watching, watching Lee Selby perform on that stage. You know, because I remember when we signed him and he was boxing in Blackpool on the undercard. So it's nice to see and, and he deserves all his success. He said that the, one of the main reasons was he wants to be a star you know, worldwide. Do you think this move and his deal that's, that's what it does. Do you think he's got a better chance of doing that and becoming a worldwide star with Al Heyman and Boxing in America? Yeah, I think because of, of the audience he'll get in America, obviously he'd become a much bigger name over there. If he boxed in the UK here, he probably would have been shown delayed in America or, and he'll be live in America. You, you lose a little bit of the UK exposure because it'll be at three in the morning. Um, but they do have the opportunity to do afternoon shows there as well. So I think that in the featherweight division, someone like Ali Selby, I think this is the perfect move. You know, others that have huge pay-per-view futures in the UK, I think they know they want to stay here and, and, you know, but Lee will be back, you know, I think there's no problem having a fight in the UK and, you know, in the US and, you know, coming back next spring, summer to fight Warrington, I think, you know, it's just like having a job. You have to look at what's best for these guys and, and this was the right opportunity for Lee Selby to go and earn some big money. Now Cole Frotch has gone, um, there's kind of a question over who's the best in Britain pound for pound. Is it Kel Brooks, is it Amir Khan? Lee Selby must have a good shout, considering his body of work and, you know, and the style he's done it. For sure, and you know, the win against Gradovich and the style that he did it. I, mean, I think I gave an interview recently, I feel like Kel Brook is the number one pound for pound fighter in the UK right now. But he's got a number of top fighters, Lee Selby, James DeGale, Scott Quigg, you know, Carl Frampton, uh, even Anthony Joshua probably six months away from being in that list, Amir Khan, you know, in that, in that mix. So Britain's got some wonderful fighters at the moment. And, you know, people like Selby, people like DeGale, people like Brook, people like Khan, they're all fighters that can beat, on their day, beat everybody in the division. And, and it's great that they're British and that it's, a, it's a wonderful time for British boxing. Let me ask you something away from, from Lee Selby and obviously away from the O2. Over in Vegas, George Groves lost his third world title challenge against Badu Jack. Um, Close fight, but clearly outpointed most feel. Um, where does that leave George Groves? More importantly, from your point of view, where does that leave this idea of this super fight with James DeGale? Well, it leaves that fight out for now. Um, you know, I text George after the fight. I said, look, George is like Marmite, you know, and uh, it, he upsets a lot of people. So when you fail, people will kick dirt in your face and, and sand in your face while you're on the floor. But I texted him and said, look, I know you must be gutted, but keep your head up because it was a close fight. You've gone to America, you boxed in Vegas on a Floyd Mayweather undercard. You've been in a close fight, a good fight that people would have enjoyed. You can come again. And at the moment, I mean, I've seen, I think he's deleted his Twitter account. So he's obviously devastated, but He's only one, because he's got the name, he's only one fight away from changing for the world title again. But losing three times for a world title is hard to take. And, uh, but I feel like he should be proud, and I think people should support the fact that a Brit's gone out there. It's like Tyson Fury. You know, I mean, talk about George Groves being Marmite. Well, he's like giant Marmite, isn't he, Tyson Fury? But you should support him. It doesn't matter whether you think he's a bit of a plonker. You know, he's a character. But he's going out to Germany to try and win the world with a great title. So get behind him, you know, and, that, and that's the same for Groves. You know, I think he's not everyone's cup of tea, but you do have to admire his, not necessarily audacity, but he's, you know, the way he goes out with that, with that attitude, let's say fair attitude of me against the world. And he's gone to America to try and win a world title, 
try and turn around to the guy and say, yeah, well, I've got the belt now. Unfortunately, he hasn't. And, you know, James isn't going to give him a leg up to, to make that fight. So, you know, um, but he's a big name. One big win. You know, one big fight, whether it's a, I mean, I think a Martin Murray fight is a great fight for him. You know, and he's only one win away from being right back in that mix. Do you think one or maybe two wins? That fight with the girl is still the money fight, surely, for both of them. It is, but you're talking about a voluntary challenger and a guy that doesn't like him. So you do the match. Yeah, yeah. So once. Once in the Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but I think, you know, I saw James' interview, 10%, 20%. It's not going to happen, you know, because George can potentially build himself into a better position. But Groves the Gale remains a big fight, but obviously nowhere near the levels that it did a week ago.